Hey everybody, it's Eric, 80s Horror Man here, and welcome to day 21 of my 31 Days of Horror. Today I'll be doing a movie that was done in 1982, and that's Alone in the Dark. Now this movie stars uh, Jack Palance and Donald Pleasance, and this movie is basically about where this new doctor moves into town with his family, and he ends up working at a mental institution to take over the other doctors as uh, sessions with the, the, the mental patients at the institution. So once the doctor meets these mental patients, it turns out the patients don't really take it too kind to the new doctor, and they think that the, he's done something to their original doctor. So on one of the nights, there's a blackout, the town is in a riot, and the mental patients make their escape out of the mental hospital to prey on the, doc on the new doctor and his uh, family. Yeah, so, boy, this is a, a very fun 80s horror movie, yeah, and I thought uh, Donald Pleasance did good in this one, and I thought Jack Parents actually did a very good job in this one, playing uh, Hawks, the, the main mental patient, and this is uh, the new cover art when Screen Factory released this. This is the original poster art because I remember seeing the original poster art to this movie a long time ago back in the Blockbuster during the VHS days. But it does also have special features like it's got uh, the interview with the director, audio commentary with the director, interview with one of the actresses, an interview with underground New York punk favorites, The Sick Fucks and Arthur Adam Rockoff. And the theatrical trailer. So, again, this movie is a very fun 80s horror movie. And I definitely recommend checking out for those who hasn't seen it. Because I know there's a bunch of movie titles listed alone in the dark. But if you're looking for certain ones, you got to type in the, the year of that certain movie that you're looking for. So, Alone in the Dark from 1982, I highly recommend it to watch, and out of a possible 10, I give this movie 8.5 out of 10, because, again, this was very fun to watch, and I definitely enjoyed it, because I remember watching this a couple of times on YouTube, so you could either get this movie on Blu-ray, or watch it on YouTube for free, because the DVD of this movie is way, way out of print. So I'm glad I got this movie on Blu-ray and I didn't bother getting the DVD copy of this one. Alright guys, so that's it for day 21 of my 31 Days of Horror. What did you guys think? Have you seen this movie before? If so, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Also, like and subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned for some more videos of the 31 Days of Horror. Later.